I can't say I saw this one coming, but Jesus Christ! Star Trek's original series was misogynist, says Kate Mulgrew, but she would still appear in Picard. The captain of the USS Voyager says there's more work to be done. It's very disheartening when somebody that proved themselves without resorting to victim mentality and identity politics would decide to adopt it now. Marina Sirtis did something similar two months ago, but her character was horrible and one of the few weaknesses throughout TNG's seven-year run. Kate Mulgrew, as as Captain Catherine Janeway was one of the biggest strengths of Star Trek Voyager and has always been respected by fans of both genders. Well, it looks like she's decided she no longer wants that respect. This is a very frustrating video to make. Kate Mulgrew represented a giant leap for Star Trek when she took command of the USS Voyager in 1995. As the first woman to play a lead captain in the franchise, she knew what she represented. Without a question, playing the first female captain came with huge responsibility. Okay, there is some rewriting of history here. I was there on very, very early Star Trek message boards. Yep, I'm that old. I go back to internet fandom from the beginning. In actuality, there was very little discussion about Janeway's gender. We had already seen Avery Brooks, the first captain, while commander at the time, that wasn't a white male defy our expectations. Let's also not forget, in 1994, when the announcement was made, we were decades away from the SJW invasion and their quest to destroy everything, and identity politics simply wasn't wasn't a thing, at least not in the way it is used now. Fans were more concerned about how this Starship Lost concept would work, and I would argue it didn't really work in the end, but that's an entirely different video, and it had nothing to do with Captain Janeway. Let me say this again, as someone who was part of fandom at the time, those that spoke out against gender were a very, very small minority. We just wanted a good show, not just to further these extraordinary ideas given wings by Gene Roddenberry, but to do so with an intention and intelligence that would extend itself, in particular, to the women in my audience. You're talking out of your ass. As seeing this was two decades ago, Janeway was positioned as a role model for both sexes equally. The 2019 context does not work in any way when examining anything from the 90s. To diminish the many males that looked up to Janeway is disrespectful, disgusting, and reprehensible. Speaking out about the 50-year legacy of the moon landing for her documentary The Space Race, now available on audio, she noted that many women had entered the sciences after watching Voyager, as did many men. But we don't talk about that anymore because men are treated like second-class citizens in 2019. She paid tribute to Gene Roddenberry, creator of the franchise, for his inclusive vision of the future, and then proceeds to crap on his creation. Watching Catherine Janeway, Captain of Starship, empowered them in a way nothing else could at the time. We're talking about the 90s in Hollywood. What they put on television is a harbinger of things to come. Actually, no it wasn't. The 90s and the first decades of the 2000s is where equality of the sexes was achieved. In the second decade of the 2000s, the pendulum has swung so far in the other direction that males are being disparaged at every opportunity. You are talking about a visionary, and his name was Gene Roddenberry. He foresaw what other could not see. Gene Roddenberry would be horrified to see what has become of his franchise. Roddenberry believed in equality for everyone. He did not push for supremacy of certain groups at the expense of others. Nevertheless, we have not reached utopia yet. No, we've gone backwards. Mulgrew says she was not surprised by certain misogynist reactions to Star Trek Discovery, the newest female-led series. You lose a lot of credibility by adopting that line. As someone who's accused of this, we did not attack Michael Burnham and the other characters because because of their gender or race. We attacked them because they were badly written, detestable characters, and the show was mind-blowingly bad. Did you watch the original series? Yes, I have. I've been watching it since the 1980s. It was extremely misogynist. Good lord. Popular entertainment reflects the period it was made, and the original series is half a century old. Let's forget about Lieutenant Uhura and the ship's multiracial crew, whereby it was years ahead of its time. Also, did you forget that the miniskirts were willingly worn by female actresses as a symbol of the sexual revolution. How quickly we forget about historical context in 2019. That's what it was for years, and Picard followed that to a certain extent. Jesus Christ! Let's just forget about strong characters like Dr. Crusher, Dr. Pulaski, Ensign Rowe, or Tasha Yar. Roddenberry himself was that way. Good lord! We are simply going to have to change this sensibility, this ideology. And we are, but it's moving like granite. What in the name of holy hell are you talking about? It takes a long time. For equality that happened decades ago. We are not a society that has endorsed females as equals to males on television. Um, no. Modern Hollywood tends to view women as perfect and males as inherently flawed, and it's not only the male fans that are pissed off about this, but many, many female fans as well. Unlike Hollywood, 
Most normal women do not seek to disparage men at every opportunity. Nevertheless, Mulgrew did not rule out a return to the franchise in Picard, which stars Patrick Stewart and picks up the story after the events of Voyager, when Janeway had been promoted to Admiral. Yep, your character became an Admiral, while Picard was still a captain. But hey, in your mind, equality never became a thing. I might go back and talk to them passionately about the way, the truth, and the light. Thanks, but we get lectured enough. Jesus, Mulgrew, for decades you were highly respected within Star Trek fandom, and you were an example for both sexes. Why in the hell would you throw that away? Why would you attack the franchise that gave you seven years of gainful employment? And so the rapidly dying Star Trek franchise takes yet another hit. It just keeps getting worse, folks. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is deleting subscribers and follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.